To calibrate the pumps, they must be charged. If the pumps have not been fully charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps prior to sampling. Start the pumps as they need to warm up for at least three minutes before you begin the calibration. Be sure to verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the pump calibration data sheets provided. Set up the pumps with the correct media in line with the field rotometer as shown. The order of the components for calibration is pump, long piece of tubing with lure adapter, back filter cassette, short tubing with two lure adapters, front filter cassette, and rotometer. Remove the colored nibs from both sides of the back filter cassette and install the wagon wheel pattern side to the pump tubing. Use the short piece of tubing with two lure adapters to connect the inlet side of the back filter cassette to the wagon wheel pattern side of the front filter cassette. Make sure the wagon wheel pattern of both cassettes are facing toward the pump. Remove the final nib and attach the rotometer. With everything sitting on a level, flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Adjust the flow rate by turning the flow adjustment screw on the top of the pump until the rotometer indicates the desired flow. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. After you are satisfied with the flow rate, your pre-calibration is complete. Remove both filter cassettes while keeping the short tubing between them together and replace the nibs on each end. Mark them for use in the post-calibration you will be performing after sampling is completed. Then, insert fresh filter cassettes you will use for testing. Be sure to remove the rotometer and attach tubing before sampling. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is complete, perform the post calibration the same way you did the pre calibration using the marked calibration filter cassette assembly. Do not make any flow adjustments to the pump. Just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post flow rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. All rotometers are calibrated against a primary standard quarterly. This calibration formula is located on the side of the rotometer. Take the average rotometer reading and plug it into the calibration formula where the X is to determine your actual flow rate. Multiply the flow rate in liters per minute by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field pump data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Then complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media in the Ziploc bag marked with the orange Unused Media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at GalsonLabs.com. Thank you.